Hi ladies, how are you? Okay, so I thought today I will just do a miscarriage story update, general chat sort of thing. Um, I didn't really know, I don't really know what I'm going to talk about, but I thought I will do an update because I have been getting a few inboxes asking me how I am and how am I recovering and all that sort of stuff. And I have been getting a few nasty messages as well, which is really sad, especially during this time and especially with the community that I'm in. You don't really want those type of messages when you're in a TTC slash pregnancy slash miscarriage community. Um, so I'll get, I'll, I'll get started with the ugly and then I'll just move on. The nasty messages I got after my, mis after my miscarriage video I got well first of all I lost about 10 subscribers immediately which I don't really mind but then it's kind of why do you know what I mean why I've had a miscarriage so you don't want to support me anymore you don't want to follow my journey anymore fair enough I once I subscribe to someone I follow their journey whether it's a TTC journey pregnancy journey miscarriage I still follow their journey I'm here to support other women. I'm not here just to support them to a certain extent. If something happens, I'm out of there. But anyway, and then I got a few messages from people. I don't know if they were subscribers. I don't think they were. I think they're just general people that watched my videos and then said stuff like, oh, well, <clears throat> said, oh, well, like, it's okay that you've lost two babies you because you've already had children. Since when is it ever okay to lose a child? Never. And then I got messages like, oh, well, it wasn't really a baby because you were only six weeks. Again, when is it okay to have a miscarriage? It's never okay to have a miscarriage. It's still painful no matter how far along you, lo uh, you are. A life is a life no matter how small. So it's just really insensitive and when you're in the middle of a miscarriage, that's not the type of messages you want to receive. But, you know, all the positive support and all the wonderful messages outweigh the negative and the nasty. So from, from my heart, I thank you all so, so much for the support. Thank you so much for the messages. Um... And it does mean a lot, and I do read them, and it has helped a lot. So thank you very much. So a general update, um, or my miscarriage story, I should say. As you know, as I mentioned in my sad news video, I found out that the baby didn't change from my four-week ultrasound to my six-week ultrasound. It was the same it grew five weeks six days we're just measuring just under six weeks and it it stayed that way um so it didn't progress it didn't get a heartbeat or anything like that it just stayed the same measurement so a miscarriage was um inevitable but um because i was on progesterone it was preventing it from happening so I went and saw my OB to talk about a DNC, and at first they were all, yes, you're going to have a DNC, or going ahead for it. They booked me in, that sort of thing. And then they cancelled it because I wasn't ble bleeding yet, and they said I need to be bleeding before they can do the DNC and see how we go, sort of thing. So they prescribed me these tablets I don't know if you're going to be able to read it no um it's the miss miss I'm not gonna be able to pronounce it but I'll write it somewhere along here miss o pro op pro okay I'll just write it here but um they subscribe me those kind of pessaries that you put up to help to start the miscarriage basically um that Tuesday, the day I saw my OB, that evening, my body started doing it on its own. And that was from being off progesterone from 
Friday to Tuesday. Firstly, I noticed huge, huge difference from being off the progesterone. I went from no migraines, no hormonal acne, no real sickness or anything to my migraines are back every day. I broke out severely. I had acne, like my whole lower face was covered in acne. Same with my chest, my breasts. It was horrible. Um, you can probably still see some now. I'm still recovering from the whole acne explosion. Um, so the, the migraines are back from not being on progesterone, which only proves my point that I need to be on progesterone because of my hormonal unbalance. I've been begging for progesterone for over 12 months. I Even when they subscribed me to Clomid, I said to my specialist, don't you think I need progesterone to be on progesterone before I even get pregnant? And he's like, no, 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 no. Let's just see if you can get pregnant first. Okay, so I strongly believe I could not, I could have not lost this child if I was given progesterone pessaries before I got pregnant. Um, I think it, it put me on way too late. Even though I started the cream, I think even then it was too late. Um, they should have had it on me way before then. But that's a whole other video. But I feel very let down by professionals. Okay, so that Tuesday evening I started getting severe cramping contractions. They are definitely exactly the same as contractions as when you're in labor. I've had three um, births. I had my twins and my son and my daughter. All were practically natural, drug free. My my two, my daughter and my, my son was drug free without any pain relief. I know what contractions feel like. These are contractions. And they were, even though I lost Charlie in 2010, which was just on nine weeks, just over eight weeks, nine weeks. These ones at six weeks were way more severe. And I think probably because the tablets, even though I didn't take the tablets at that time, this was my body starting on its own, the contractions was way more severe. And I think that was because I had to get off progesterone and it just like my, my levels went and crash. So the cramping went on all night. I had no sleep. And come morning, I said, okay, I'll, I started spotting like it was a bit of blood in the CM, but it was nothing really noticeable as only when I was white. So I said, okay, I my, my body's obviously struggling. I'm gonna use the tablets. I was gonna let my body try and do it naturally, but it needed help. So I did use the tablets. Um I popped them in about nine o'clock in the morning and he said roughly four hours they'll start to work. At about two thirty in the afternoon, oh my god, did it start? It's like it wasn't necessarily bleeding, it was the cramping at first. Like, I was just getting on with my day, da 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 You know, even though I was in pain, I still had to do things. I'm a mum, I had to do, still had to do mum things. I still have a part-time job, I was still doing that. And then at 2.30, it, like, hits me on, like, like that. You, like, you doubled over in pain. And, um, it just started on from there. So, it has been... I have bled really more heavy this time around than I did at my miscarriage at eight weeks. I have been passing massive like clots, blood clots. Um, the biggest was, was about that big. It was huge. It was about as big as my hand. Um, it's traumatizing. It really is. It's not pleasant at all. It's heartbreaking. It's disgusting. It's traumatizing. It's emotional it's everything all rolled into one and and at the same time you are trying to be strong and happy for your children you've got to put on the fake face to go out in public and to do work and to do all that sort of stuff and then you come home and you crumble at night time when everyone's asleep so that has been my life for the past week like, even now, I'm, like, I'm putting my face on and I'm being strong so I can get through this video. It is, of course, it's emotionally destroying and it's heartbreaking and, you know, it's cruel. You know, you've been trying 
to conceive for over two years after a loss with no ovulation, you finally ovulate, you finally get pregnant and then it's taken away from you and you want to blame someone and I blame the professionals because they did not listen to me, they did not help me. Um, needless to say, I will not be continue seeing them anymore. Um, I am TTCing, I'm still going to TTC, I cannot give up, I am still waiting for my rainbow baby. Um, it's a personal choice, you know, I get comments like, you know, you've already got children, why are you still trying, da 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 da, because I don't feel my family is complete, I have lost two children, I should have a nearly two year old right now, and I should be pregnant having a baby in September. That is destroying, like to know that I've lost two children, I want those children, not necessarily I won't go on to have two more, but I want that rainbow baby. I need that baby in my arms. It's an emotional, personal choice. And will I, will I continue TTCing for years and years and years? No, of course not. It's not practical. My age is against me. I'm 35 in May. Um, so I'm not, I'm not going to be, I don't, I don't personally think I have two another two years TTC in me. I think I might continue this year TTC and then we might move on next year. But I'm not gonna say definite anything definite because I never say never. So um my plan is like right now I have been bleeding for a week. So I'm a week into this miscarriage. Um my OB said we'll give it to 10 days and if I haven't bleed, stop bleeding then, then she'll, they'll go ahead with a DC, D and C. Um, but for two days, since yesterday I've only been spotting. So I think it's starting to slow down itself. Fingers crossed it stops before 10 days um, and my body can go on and do its own thing. I'm praying to God. So... Um, with Charlie in 2010, I bled for 10 weeks without help, which is not normal. And it's what left me with in infertility in the first place. So I'm not going to be letting myself go even that long. If I do not stop bleeding within 10 days, I'm going to get that DNC regardless. So that's what's going to happen on the miscarriage side. On the TTC side, if my bleeding stops I'll be waiting for my cycle to hopefully start in March and I'll be trying that that cycle I'll be trying on my own without any medical help without any um fertility specialist and then I'll be doing I'm still on my I'll be doing my vitamins I'm still back on my I'll back on my TTC vitamins I'm back on my um fertility diet and um progesterone cream so I'll be taking that from yeah so I'll be doing that till hopefully you know myself and get pregnant hopefully first go you know you live in hope and that's what I have I have my hope and my faith and I will be trying on my own for the first cycle and then I'll be seeing a different fertility specialist OB etc from then on if that was not successful um they said if i stop bleeding within that time i can i can go back on to TTCing. so i'm booking in for an ultrasound to check that everything's come away and make sure everything's fine and then i can go ahead that sort of thing so i'll have all my checkups first before i obviously try to ttc again and um if i get the go ahead still then i will go ahead so I've got to order more OPKs, not that I thought I would ever have to do that again, but I'll be ordering more OPKs, so I'll be doing the OPKs. I might even get back into temping. I haven't temped since I was TTCing my daughter in 2008, so it has been a while since I've done temping, but I do believe like temping, you can see if you ovulate more than just OPKs. So I might get back into temping. So I am back on my TTC journey, ladies. I do hope 
you follow me still and follow my journey. I do so much appreciate your support. It does mean a lot to me. I do love being in this community of TTCers and pregnant ladies. I am still following the women who are the same gestation as me and it's really nice seeing that you are all still having healthy pregnancies and even though I am not with you gestational wise I am still with you so um so thank you again for the support I'm sorry this has gone on a bit long and um yeah feel free to ask me any questions I have done the TTC giveaway winner video and I'm just going to do the um pregnancy uh giveaway winner video which I'll probably do after this so until next time, take care and I shall talk to you all soon. Bye.